While speaking at the event, the chief guest, Cabinet Secretary Public Service, Youth and Gender Affairs, Professor Margaret Kobia, noted that it's effort from the county level that would bear the greatest impact on the women leadership front. And I do believe it is at the county where it is most, where we need to have deliberate and targeted effort uh, because we know at the county the constitution was very clear if you don't get the two thousand principle, you nominate. That nomination means more salaries, more resources. Therefore, I'm very happy from the national government that we are going to have a program that will target 47 counties. And if the 47 counties go through this program, they have a multiplier effect on enhancing women leadership process. CS went on to point out the challenges that women face in their quest for leadership. We also miss a lot of lack of resources, stereotypes, and discrimination in general, that what we go through. She further noted that the constitution is at the core of the achievement of women empowerment and the national government is doing its part in attainment of the same. And of late, of course, youth empowerment. And within the youth, we also have women, isn't it? Yes. We have young women. The constitution of Kenya has entrenched affirmative action as a critical instrument to help realize gender equality, remain the traditional exclusion of women and to promote their full involvement in every aspect of growth and development, both in private and the public sector. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why the, at the national level, the government has prioritized women empowerment and gender equality as a development issue. She was quick to point out that while there have been gains, the program will provide the catalyst to leapfrog these efforts. Because when we are talking about transformative, we are looking for a big leap in change. So we are looking in this program how we will be able to empower women to be able to have very clear vision, share that vision of that, that change that we want in terms of gender equality and women empowerment. I'm sure as we... As for this reason, I wish to welcome the trans transformative leadership program that we are launching today, which is meant to provide the leadership skills which will bring the very much needed change. One, it will increase participation of women at the county level. We will also develop transformative county women leaders. It will also create a pool of effective women leaders and ultimately increase the visibility and the appreciation of women leadership in the counties. Also present was Kitui Governor Charity Ngilu, who said that the program was timely to ensure preparedness for the next general elections. I think this is really a program whose time has come and has come at the right time so that we can work on it before the 2022 um, elections. In her speech, the governor went on to beseech the women to take up opportunity presented by the launch of the program as they are capable. I think we cannot be offered an opportunity like this and we squander it. We women are capable, and I want to say this without a doubt, we are capable of serving in all positions that men serve. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. <laughs> The program, which will be run by the Kenya School of Government, seeks to ensure that the gains made so far in women leadership do not slow down. It is, however, imperative for women to rise to the occasion and take up their rightful position if these efforts are to translate at the county and national level. For Brown Plus TV Business News, I am Daisy Wambua.